Hi everyone, welcome back to the Good to Know channel. Today, we're diving into something that's super important for your health, but not might be on your radar yet. Vitamin K2, specifically the MK7 version, and why you should be taking it with vitamin D3. If you're all about optimizing your health or just curious about how these vitamins work together, you're in the right place. Let's jump in. First up, let's talk about vitamin K2. It's a fat soluble vitamin that's a total game changer for your bones and heart. The MK7 version is special because it's the most bioavailable form, meaning that your body can use it longer and more effectively than other types like MK4. It's found in foods like natto and certain cheeses, but we'll go into that later. Why should you care about vitamin K2? Well, it's like a superhero for your body. It activates proteins that pull calcium into your bones and teeth, which is awesome for keeping them strong and preventing osteoporosis. Plus, it stops calcium from sticking in your arteries, which can lower your risk of heart disease. It's a win-win for your skeleton and your ticker. Now, let's switch gears to vitamin D3, often called the sunshine vitamin. Your body makes it when you soak up sunlight, and it's also in foods like salmon and fortified milk. D3 is a big deal because it helps your body absorb calcium, supports your immune system, and even boosts your mood. Pretty sunny stuff, right? Well, vitamin D3 does a lot more than just help with calcium. It strengthens your muscles, reduces inflammation, and may even lower the risk of certain cancers. But here's the catch. Many of us don't get enough vitamin D3, especially if you live in cloudy areas or don't get enough sun. That's where supplements come in. Here's where things get really cool. Vitamin D3 is awesome at helping your body absorb calcium, but it doesn't tell the calcium where to go. That's where vitamin K2 steps in. K2 acts like that traffic cop, directing your calcium to your bones and teeth and keeping it out of your arteries. Without enough K2, high doses of D3 can lead to calcium buildup in the wrong places. For instance, like your arteries, which isn't great at all for your heart. Picture this, vitamin D3 is like a bus picking up calcium from your diet and vitamin K2 is the driver making sure that that bus heads straight to your bones. Together they make sure calcium builds strong bones without clogging up your arteries. It's teamwork at its finest. So how much should you take? A common recommendation is 100 micrograms of vitamin K2, the MK7 version, for every 5,000 international units of vitamin D3. This ratio helps them work effectively together. Me, I personally take 10,000 international units of vitamin D3 with every 100 micrograms of K2. This ratio works very well for me, and this is what I personally would recommend moving forward with. But everyone's different, so talk to your doctor, especially if you're on meds like blood thinners or have specific health needs. You can get vitamin D3 from sunlight, fatty fish like salmon, egg yolks, and fortified foods like milk. Vitamin K2, the MK7 version, is trickier it's in fermented foods like natto, some cheeses, and beef liver. Since it's hard enough to get from food alone, supplements are a popular choice. To wrap it up, vitamin K2, the MK7 version, and D3 are a dynamic duo for your bones and heart. They work together to make sure calcium strengthens your skeleton and doesn't harm your arteries. If you're taking D3 already, consider adding K2. And if you're new to this, a combo supplement is a great way to go. Your body will thank you. Now, if you found this video helpful, I would recommend you watch this video on D3 as well, which will align perfectly with this video adding to K2. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more health tips. Drop a comment below, do you take D3 and K2? Or do you have any questions? Check out the links in the description for more information and resources. See you in the next video.